that would be 120, 20, 40, 60, then you'd rest and then you 60 again. So it's really two sets of 60, but 60 is short. 20? Ah, 20. Okay. She's not bad at them. Yes, I, I don't am. know what she's complaining about. I am. Um, double kettlebell overhead, dumbbells. I'm not. I have, I have no say. Left shoulder's out of place, so you twist funny, and then your knee hurts. Weird. Just keep them off your shoulders. Oh. So no Christy style front rack. I don't know how else you would... Well, I think that's I should like a, just go elbows up. Yeah. So I don't know if that's fine. Not okay. It's gonna be a good shoulder burner. But at least you get to kip. That should help. Definitely need to switch it up. Maintain the intensity of the first one. Heart rate was up, but it was more of like a shoulder, muscle fatigue, kind of workout with the overhead, plus the handstand push-up, plus catching a heavyweight overhead. The interference there was pretty high. And so, called a little audible front rack lunge, which enabled you to basically go down and right back. Kipping handstand push-ups, you can knock out bigger sets with less rest, and then into a heavier barbell, so. Still a really good challenge and way more metabolically taxing. So, this is a good morning. This is a fun workout. The uh, front rack was harder to, on my midsection. Yeah, like, here I, and like my, my back. Yeah. I'm trying to stay upright. Which I was surprised about. Like, I just felt like my abs were working a lot, a lot harder. I thought the lunge, my legs were tired from lunging. I think I'm still like favoring my ankle a little bit. My shoulder's um, a little out of place, so like. And it got heavy and I was tired. I just couldn't yes, catch it in the right spot. But power, my pull is still really strong. My squat's still not strong enough. If we had repeated that first one, it would have been garbage. Nightmare. It would have been completely no worthless, yeah. The average time spent doing an open workout over the course of the open, I think I averaged at one point, it's like nine minutes. The average workout, I think, is like eight to nine minutes long. So is that good to train the 12 to 15 well, then? Yeah, I mean, that's just for the open, but... Yeah. I bet if you look at regional workouts, I bet they're 12 to 15. Then our sanctional workouts, at least at the Filthy 150, was around the same. I guess it makes sense because like from a competition setting, you have so many heats you have to run through, and yeah. if you want to have three events per day, if you have three or four heats at 15 minutes, it's an hour. Yeah. Everything you have to get through, it's like going way past that is hard, and then way shorter, you'll sneak them in there, but that makes sense like to have a good test of fitness. Definitely back in the groove this week with training. I uh, still feel a little bit sluggish, still trying to get over the ankle injury, that kind of thing, get back into the flow of things a little bit with uh, some training. Um, but having fun doing it, glad I don't really have to travel a whole lot, gonna be around at home for a little while working on the barn and just uh, getting some good training in, having fun doing it. So um, feels good to kind of be back in the swing of things and events coming up, definitely gonna be down at the Mayhem Classic coming up in January and then looking forward to the Rogue Legends event coming up in May, I believe. So those are kind of the next two things on, on the horizon and 
what we're going to be working towards uh, as those dates approach.